Update on a story we first brought to you of a local firefighter who is now fighting for his life after a sudden illness. This all started with flu-like symptoms that somehow turned critical. Local 10 News reporter Christian De La Rosa spoke exclusively with that firefighter's wife, and he joins us live from Aventura. Christian. Such a bizarre story, and this has been such an emotional roller coaster. Yesterday, we had told, we were told that his progress had pretty much plateaued. And just a little while ago, uh, his wife telling us that he has regained consciousness, but doctors say he is still in very critical condition. If you ever came across Hallandale firefighter Eric Condi, you might have thought he was a superhero, a big guy who's strong and saves lives. He's nicknamed the Hulk. He was perfectly healthy. But just last Friday, Condi was wrapping up his shift at the department when he collapsed, going into cardiac arrest. Fellow firefighters went into action to save one of their own. We were in the right place at the right time for Eric. Eric ended up at Aventura Hospital, unconscious and unable to breathe on his own. I thought it was a joke. I was like, you're kidding, right? His wife, Rachel, telling Local 10 News, doctors found a bacteria in his lungs. The Hulk tested positive for pneumonia. As a fire service wife, um, or even as a police officer's wife, you, that's your biggest fear. That you're gonna get that phone call. The husband and father of three, now facing a long road to recovery. Speaking only to Local 10 News, Rachel Condi is keeping it together. She thanks the firefighter community, friends, and loved ones for their support and their prayers. Had it happened any other way, I don't know if he'd be here. Now, no matter what happens, this is going to be a long road ahead for the Condi family. His buddies at the fire department have put up a GoFundMe page, and we posted the link to that page on our website. Just go to local10.com if you'd like to help. We're live in Aventura. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Ah, oh, so many prayers for the Condi family.